dawn of the computer age. It's hard to believe, but this was the state of the art in computers just a few decades ago. In 1952, the public's perception of a computer was likely to look something like this refugee from a recycling plant. But in reality, the early computer was bulky, slow, and full of vacuum tubes that had a habit of burning out at the wrong time. However, scientists knew the potential of these computers would soon be realized. So with continued modifications over the past 30 years, scientists have been able to reduce the size of a computer, which once filled a 20 by 30 room, into a pocket computer, which now fits into the palm of my hand. As they become cheaper, computers are becoming more and more common. You see them when you bank, shop, fill up for gasoline, and of course the big impact is on games. The most common contact most of us have with computers nowadays are with video games like Space Invaders. And even though it's an exciting game, there are more sophisticated home computers, which are not only recreational, but also educational. I, N, E, you are correct. Next, spell gasoline. Computers can take the form of this child spelling toy to entire departments at colleges and universities devoted to computer science. The students now have the opportunity on working on one of 17 video display terminals, one of three printing terminals, and they also have the opportunity to use two remote batch terminal systems. At San Diego City College, for example, courses in computer programming are attracting more and more students. Well, I think we're at the frontier of the, the art in computing here at City College. Our machines can work either as computers by themselves, these are intelligent, programmable computers that can do almost anything that you would need in a small company environment. Add on any program with the uh, words uh, pro, P-R-O, and I ask it to print it, and it'll print out all of the programs with, that begin with P-R-O, and therefore we can check. The P-R-O is for procedures, and we can check the procedures to see that we're using the right ones. It's a very interesting field. There's a lot of different, it's always changing, and it's always something new, and it gives me a chance to keep on learning. It's you know, very useful in the, in the future. Um, seem like they use computer in everything. In part two of our special series, we'll show you how computers are having a major influence on the business world and even at home. Jesse Macias, News 8, San Diego City College Computer Lab.